tell us something that we don't know about Mogadishu, Somalia? Something that you don't know about Mogadishu, Somalia. Mogadishu, Somalia is actually safer at night. <laughs> Surprisingly, people, they think that, you know, nighttime is a dangerous time to go out. But here, when it's nine o'clock, you can say, you know what, now I'm not afraid. I could go outside. There's not going to be any bombings, <laughs> you know? So that's something interesting. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got it right there. Um, Kiwi. Man, that's, that's, that's so good. So now, shows it, man. order your drink. I'm, I'm, I'm ordering, don't worry. It shows how resilient you are. Oh, yeah, okay. You got fans here. I have fans everywhere. Hey. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How about you? Welcome to Mogadishu. Thank you. How are you feeling so far? I mean, feeling great, man. No bombs, right? No. <laughs> Say that again. Say that again. No what? <laughs> no explosions, no show. <laughs> Like I say, no explosions, yeah? It, it, it means that you all think that when you come to Mogadishu, you have to be hiding bullets. But your boy is not hiding bullets. I'm actually hiding from fruits, bro. They are even kidnapping kings. You, you, who died and made you a demigod? <laughs> Night time here, um, and we're still riding in the dark, man, in Mogadishu. So, as you can see, in the dark, and no one is coming to kidnap me. No, no one, absolutely no one. It's crazy. Oh, yeah? yeah, man, even in, even in flights. <laughs> in the night, yo, man, it's eight o'clock in the night, and I decided to go out. In Mogadishu yes. yep. to check out how Mogadishu looks at night. Yeah. I mean, we are right now in the Pachaj. Yes. I know the name Pachaj. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Bajaj. people call it Tuk Tuk. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I mean, we have a, a night experience in Mogadishu, man. It's such a colorful city at night. Look at, look at that. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'm gonna die tonight, man. 
<laughs> He's laughing at me. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yo, this is such a, yeah, a good experience, yeah. man. It I'm, boosts the adrenaline, man. Yeah, but it's I think you guys excited. have more, yeah. more tuk tuk more than real cars. Man. I, I, exactly. You know, there's a, you know, uh, there is a famous saying by me. I say like, Hamari Bajaj is like close to Paris. So it means like, like. Mukdisho and Bajad, it's like eating the rice, rice. with banana. <laughs> Find out that you eat everything with banana. Yeah. Why? why? Why do you eat everything with banana? You need a bit of sweet with savory. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, you can only find this in Somali, man. Like, anywhere you see a Somalian, give him a banana. Yes. <laughs> banana. Who's who done for Follow me. Moose, 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 no banana. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for the mossy mousse. Mousse. Yeah. Mousse. Mousse. Yeah. Mousse. Mousse. I'm, I'm more like a Somali right now. With every banana you intake, you're becoming more Somali. Thank you. Because it became part of the culture now. Basically, wow. you see a TikTok or Bajaj everywhere now. Everywhere. You see? Whoa. So, welcome to Mogadishu now. This is. Yeah, yeah. We're chilling. We're chilling right we're here. Safe. You can see, man. Yeah. This is me chilling in Mogadishu yeah. right at night. It's approximately nine o'clock in the evening, man. And the city looks very lively, man. Look at look at how people are out here having fun. The lighting in here, it's amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I came to Mogadishu, bro. Yo. Yeah, Such a shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Now we will go to your hotel. Yeah. Check. I didn't even tell you guys where I stay. I've been here for the past three days and I live at Mahaba Hotel. I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it right. But the reason why I chose that place is because of security. I was basically scared. So I wanted a place that they got good security. But coming in here, I never regret it, man. It's such a beautiful place. And I think I need to show you guys around, man. Oh wow! <laughs> Celebrity move. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, okay we're still walking, bro. I'm not. Did, really did sure. you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I can see. I can see. Yeah. They said yeah, yeah, Mokital yeah. is the first guy yeah, to use drone in uh, the whole of Somalia. Yeah, man. So Mokital is a celebrity, man. <laughs> He's a pioneer of drones in this country. <laughs> bro, bro. You gotta stay humble, man. You gotta stay humble. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> No, no, talk about yourself. We're tired. All right, We're tired all right. Of always hearing about people's so, stories. So, so, basic, so basically, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just like uh, the Maya of Somalia, man. I'm the Maya of Somalia, bro. So, I've been doing this for long, but nowadays, you know, uh, I'm doing freelance work. So, basically, showcasing the beauty of Somalia. I'm really happy to host my brother here. Uh, it's not only me. Everybody actually. Uh, we're happy to have them. So this is the guy. Charlie! Charlie! Hey! How are you doing, man? I'm good, man. Are you? are you from Somali? I'm Somali, of course I'm Somali. Born and raised in Somali? No, I'm from Toronto. Toronto? Yeah, yeah. Why is it everyone lives in Toronto? Like, almost. No, I think no, no, everyone. Let's in the world. What about you? I'm from Italy, yeah. <laughs> from Italy? <laughs> You see? As I was walking in the street of Mogadishu at night, I found out this interesting thing that I think I need to share with you guys. Yo, I want some fresh juice, man. Are you the guy behind it? They're both guys, they're a team, man. Oh, really? The partner, the Abdi, Abdi. Right, Abdi will have, Abdi Yo, Abdi, I, I just want to know why you started doing this in here. I need a cup, right? But I just want to know, you own this shop? Yes. It's for you? No, it's... Both of you? Both of you. Oh, okay. Why you have to start something like this in here? The business development here and wealthy and financial development, financial, financial uh, resource. Okay. Uh, you, I mean, like, did they, did they just finish investing in here? Yeah, it's been running for like about a month. How long have you been doing this? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Right. It's, it's new. They're man. pretty new. Look how many people. They got a lot of customers. Yeah. The, the quality is on point. You're making uh, a lot of money, eh? Yes. 
<laughs> you make it of money. You gotta make it rain. You gotta make it rain, right? But um, no, man, they're doing amazing, man. People come out here, and when they come out here once, they stick around like me. You know what I'm saying? I came here. I knew this guy for a while. He's a he's a young guy. He's a hustler. Um, and he found his calling. You know what I mean? They man. sell fresh juice. Uh, they don't add no water. They don't add no other um, preservatives. to go out to buy stuff. Everything is literally here, man. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick something and I'm not gonna pick. <laughs> Yo. Pick something, yeah. Pick something and then you're good. So this is how it is in the hotel that I live in. That's why I love living here because I'm not, I don't have to go anywhere. I have security, I have mall inside. I have even a barbering car salon. So I got everything, man. Coming to Somalia was such a fulfilling journey because I was able to meet incredible people doing incredible stuff in such an incredible country. Even though my time was short, but I really had a good time and I hope to see you all once again in Mogadishu. Long live Mogadishu, long live the people of Somali. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mr. Ghana Baby. Don't forget to like and share and please help us reach 900,000 subscribers. Don't forget to share the video to friends and family. I will see you in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out.